Hi, let's talk about a very interesting topic known as ANOVA, the analysis of variance. So ANOVA is the extension of statistical F-test. F-test is defined as the ratio of variance between group versus variance within group. Now, most of the students get confused to understand the difference between variance between group and variance within group. So let's try to understand variance between group and variance within group with a simple example. Let's say you are trying to grow plants. So you have, you have taken three pots and each of them is given a different treatment treatment A, treatment B, and treatment C. Once the plant is grown, you measure the height of the plant as the response. Now let's say you have repeated the same experiment for three times. So this whole experiment of treatment A, B, and treatment C has been repeated for three times. Now, after the experiment was complete, you noted down all the results in this table. So let's say these were our results. So a simple calculation that you can do is, for each of the treatment, you can calculate the average value. So the average value for treatment A is this, the average value for treatment B is this, and the average value for treatment C is this. You can also try to calculate the standard deviation of this data. So the standard deviation of treatment A is this, treatment B is this, and so on. These results can also be demonstrated in the form of graph. So the graph will be plotted of the average value and the standard deviation which is shown as the error bar. Now since this experiment was done in triplicate, that is since this experiment was repeated for three times, the average value can also be taken between treatment A, treatment B, and treatment C. Now, in statistics, the square of standard deviation is known as variance. So whatever the standard deviation that you see, if you square these values, you will get variance. So this error that you see this is known as the variance within group, the variance in group A, or you can say variance for treatment A. In a similar way, this variation that you see is the variation in the treatment B. And this one is for the variation in treatment C. In simple words, these variations that you see is nothing but an experimental error. So this is the experimental error for treatment A, this is the experimental error for treatment B, and this one is the experimental error for treatment C. Now, this variation that you see is known as variance between group. Between group means the variation between A, B and C. So for first experiment, what is the variation between treatment A, B and C is indicated by this variance. Similarly, you can have for second and the third experiment, the variation between each of the treatment. And the F-test is nothing but 
the ratio of variance between group that is this value divided by variance within group that is this variance so the overall variance between group divided by the overall variance within group is the f ratio so this is what ANOVA or analysis of variance does. Here we are comparing the variation due to each treatment that is this variation with respect to this variation which is because of the experimental error. So if the F ratio is large then the variance between group that is this one is more than variance within group in other words you can say there is a huge variation in the height of plant because of treatment a treatment b and treatment c let's see the second scenario so in this case if you see the experimental error is large as compared to the variance between group so in this case the F ratio will be less. So if the F ratio is small, then it can be concluded that there is no difference between treatment A, treatment B and treatment C because the experimental error is large in each of them. So statistically, there is no difference between A, B and C. So this is what ANOVA or the analysis of variance means.